Assalamu alaikum students. I hope you all are fine and doing well at home. This is a new video session of Sir Sayyid Children's Academy for grade 4. I am Asanam Shujaat and today I am going to take your English language class. So let's move towards our today's class. Before we begin our class, make sure you have your junior English 4, your activity book, your English language copy and your stationery. As you all know, this is lecture number 2 and in lecture number 2, I am going to teach you verb. What is verb? A verb is an action word. It is something you can do. That means, wo words, jo hume kisi bhi action, yani kaam ka batayen, wo verb kehlate hain. There are many verbs which you can see like juggle, rap, kick, jump, eat, stand, sit, run and there are many verbs which you can't see like think, love, hate, smell, feel, sound. Okay students, now think of the many actions you perform during the day. अब आप उन एक्शंस के बारे में सोचिए जो आप throughout the day जो आप पूरे दिन में परफॉर्म करते हैं। Like you wake, आप उठते हैं, you wash your face, अपना फेस वॉश करते हैं, you dress and brush your hair, आप कपड़े पहनते हैं, अपने हेयर ब्रश करते हैं, you eat your breakfast, आप अपना breakfast eat करते हैं, and then you walk or ride to school. या तो वॉक करके या किसी बस में या बाइक पे आप स्कूल जाते हैं वेयर यू लर्न टू रीड गुड इंग्लिश एंड टू ड्रॉ जहां आप इंग्लिश पढ़ना और ड्रॉ करना सीखते हैं इन फैक्ट स्टूडेंट्स यू कैन नॉट थिंक ऑफ एनी टाइम ऑफ डे व्हेन यू आर नॉट डूइंग समथिंग आप पूरे दिन में कोई भी ऐसा टाइम नहीं सोच सकते कि जब आप कोई एक्शन परफॉर्म ना कर रहे हों, when you are tired, जब आप थके हुए होते हैं, you rest, आप आराम करते हैं, even when you sleep, जब आप सो रहे होते हैं, you breathe, आप सांस ले रहे होते हैं, and perhaps, और शायद आप कोई ड्रीम देख रहे हों, और कुछ लोग स्नोर भी करते हैं, यानी खरांटे भी लेते हैं, so there is no time of the day कि जब हम कोई काम ना कर रहे हों। All the words like wake, wash, dress, brush, eat, walk, ride, learn, read, draw, rest, sleep, breathe, dream, and snore are action words okay students now let's move towards our class work and for class work you have to open your junior english 4 so open page number 2 of junior english 4 you have to do exercise a of page number 2 in your english language copy Let me read and explain the exercise, then you will have to do this exercise in your English language copy. Make a list of the verbs in these sentences. Here you have 6 sentences and you have to find each sentence in each verb or action which we have given to us. How to do this work in your copy? 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 Open the new page, then left corner पे आप date mention करेंगे, in center आपको exercise mention करनी है with page number. Don't forget to mention the exercise and page number in your copy. And then on the right corner you will write C dot W. That means class work. Then you have to copy down 
the question which is make a list of verb in these sentences with the blue color then write down the question number one which is fish breathe through their gills that means fish apni gills ke through saans leti hain breathe means saans lena to aapko ye batana hai ki is sentence mein verb kya hai and the answer is breathe agar aap sab ne bhi breathe hi socha tha that means you are right fish jo action perform kar rahi hain that is breathe so breathe is the verb after that you will write question number 2 many animals hibernate during the winter hibernate means sote rehna bahut sare animals winter mein sote rehte hain so what is the verb in this sentence it's hibernate the actions animals perform karte hain wo kya hai hibernate then write down question number 3 some of them wake and search for food on mild days kuch animals jaagte hain aur search yani dhoondte hain khana on mild days matlab jab din thode se garam hote hain jab mausam thoda sa garam hota hai so what are the verbs in this sentence in this sentence we have two verbs number 1 wake and number 2 search okay students i hope you understand the pattern that how to do the work in copy so i'm not going to write question number 4 here but you will write it in your copy aap apni copy mein question number 4 isi tarike se copy karenge jis tarike se aapne question 1 2 and 3 kiya hai let's discuss question number 4 After digging the garden, dad raked it well. Digging means khudai karna, and rake means jama karna. बहुत सारी घास को जो हम जमा करते हैं उसे हम rake कहते हैं. So you have to find the verbs in this sentence. After digging the garden, dad raked it well. So the answer is digging and raked. Follow the same pattern. as we have done question number 1 2 and 3 you have to write down the question and then you have to write the answer of question number 4 after that you will write question number 5 which is brazil produces and exports vast quantities of coffee produce means paida karna and export means kisi dusri country ko sale karna and vast means bahut badi tadad mein so The meaning of this question is Brazil huge quantity mein coffee produce karta hai and export karta hai. So you have to find out kaun se do actions Brazil perform kar raha hai in this sentence. Let's see how many of you are right. Number 1 produces and number 2 exports. These are the two verbs in this sentence. After writing down the question number 5 and its answer, you will write down question number 6 in your copy. The ship struck an iceberg and sank. Struck means takra jana ya lagna. Iceberg means barf ki chattan and sank means doob jana. So That means ship बर्फ की चट्टान से यानी आइस बर्फ से टकराई और डूब गई सो वॉट आर द वर्ब्स इन दिस सेंटेंस सो द आंसर इज स्ट्रक यानी टकराना एंड सेंक यानी डूबना राइट डाउन दिज आंसर इन योर कॉपी ओके स्टूडेंट्स वी आर डन विद आर क्लास वर्क now it's time for your home task and in your home task you have to read and understand page number 9 of your activity book there are many verbs on page number 9 you have to read and understand them 
and then you have to do activity number one and activity number two on page 10 in your activity book activity book ka kaam aap activity book mein hi karenge you have to write the date on both the pages let me explain activity number one for you in activity number one you have to read the paragraph and circle all the verbs aapko is paragraph ko read karna hai aur is mein सारे वर्ब्स को यानी जितने भी एक्शन वर्ड्स आपको इसमें नजर आएंगे आपको उन्हें सर्कल करना है लेट मी रीड द पैराग्राफ फॉर यू सारा पार्टिसिपेट्स वेल इन क्लास वाइल शी डिसलाइक्स मिडिल स्कूल शी ट्रूली एंजॉयज हाई स्कूल सारा फेवरेट थिंग अबाउट हाई स्कूल इज अ लंच शी लव नूडल्स हर फ्रेंड रूबी इज रनिंग क्रॉस अ कंट्री फॉर जी एम सी एंड शी हैड प्रैक्टिस एवरी डे विद द टीम for a few weeks now sara is not a fan of running but she likes to exercise maybe sara will go to try out for golf if her mom approves so read this paragraph by yourself again and circle all the verbs now in activity number 2 write a paragraph on a picnic by using different verbs given on page number 9 पेज नंबर नाइन पे आपको बहुत सारे वर्ब्स दिए हुए हैं आपको एक पैराग्राफ लिखना है ऑन अ पिकनिक अ पिकनिक पर जिसमें आप पेज नंबर नाइन पर दिए हुए वर्ब्स को यूज़ करेंगे आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड द होम टास्क मेक श्योर दैट यू हैव कंप्लीटेड दिस वर्क बिफोर द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर there is another thing i want to mention and that is your homework must be done by yourself only all right it's time to say goodbye i will see you in the next class till then keep watching and keep learning allah hafiz to all of you